Hello everyone, welcome back to Our Vision Farm. Somebody requested an updated um, homestead tour of our property and I figured I was due for another one anyway, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take you around our whole um, little farm and show you guys how we have everything set up. Starting with our front yard, our front property, you can see the front of our house right there. And this is the area where we're raising our meat chickens. And I've showed you guys in our other videos how we set this up. We made the little movable hoop houses for our meat chickens. We ordered 50 meat birds and right now we have about 40 that have survived so far. And we split them up half and half so that they have more space to walk around in. Um, and it's been working out really good. We have the electric poultry netting to keep predators out and the tarps on the hoop houses provide enough shade and we also have shade from the trees and what we do is move this around um, once a day onto fresh grass and they have their water and they get fed twice a day in the morning and in the evening and that's all we have to do as in um, upkeep for them they're very simple and they grow very fast we have a solar powered energizer for our electric poultry netting so that is all we're doing with our whole front yard as you can see, this is where we moved them from this morning, and there's absolutely no grass left. And that is just in 24 hours of them eating the grass and scratching it up. So what we do is we move them all around our front pasture and just continue putting them on fresh grass so that they can find all the bugs and have the sunshine and eat the grass. So we're not doing anything else with the front of our property as of now. So we're going to head towards the back behind our house i'll show you guys what we got going on and we'll take you to the back of the property as well so i can show you what's going on back there so let me get over here this is our flower garden and i'll show you how we have everything set up there things are a little bit under construction but something new that we did for our flower garden is this entrance and i actually planted loofah and birdhouse gourds that's going to eventually cover this whole little entrance and you can see my loofah is starting to grow and attach itself so that is awesome um, so that will make a cool little entrance into our flower garden this used to be our chicken coop we recently rehomed all of our egg laying chickens and what we're going to do with this we knocked down two walls from it and what we're going to do is build a walk-in aviary for my son's birds. He's going to be raising little parakeets and breeding them to sell hand-tamed parakeets to people looking for a pet. So what we're going to do is build it within this so that way they already have the shelter from this little roof. And we're going to build a walk-in aviary so people can walk in when they do visit our farm as well. And the birds will have plenty of space to to fly around and get lots of exercise and live in an outdoor environment and then here is just our flower garden we still have um, flowers left some things are starting to die down and we also have our blueberry bushes which still have some blueberries on them so we have 18 blueberry bushes you can see there's some ready to pick right there and all back there is flowers right now zinnias they're very pretty and then here we just have to fill in our boxes we have a little bit of flowers but we need to fill it in more because I had to rip out a lot of the weeds and stuff growing in here so that is the first garden that we have I just call it our flower garden even though we do have the blueberry bushes and then back here now we are behind our house we have five acres in total back here we have our quail aviary and we also kept one mama chicken that had chicks so you can see these bigger birds over here are her young chicks but mostly in here is where we keep our quail and they have two little shelters and they have their food and water and then this little cage that we built right next to it is going to be for our future silkies so my daughter is in charge of raising silkies on our farm and right now they are just baby chicks so I actually have them inside of our patio over there um, 
but when they get bigger they're gonna be in here but what we have in here right now is our turkeys they're baby turkeys so we're just keeping them in here um, for when they get bigger we will be free ranging our turkeys once they're bigger right now they're still in the chick stage so we're just trying to get them used to us and what we plan on doing is since the silkies will be in here the turkeys are going to be kept in there next to that red shed with the sunflower we're going to set all that up for our turkeys to sleep in at night time so all we have to do is really clean this out and put pine shavings on the ground and maybe some roosting bars so this will eventually be where the turkeys sleep at night and all we have to do is open this gate every morning and they can be let out and free range all over the front of our property so for now the turkey babies are in there but they won't be there um, all the time the silkies we're gonna raise white silkies they're gonna be kept in there at night time so they have plenty of nesting boxes we're only gonna keep like a little breeding set of them so my daughter can hatch the eggs and sell the babies and we built them this little run which goes all the way down there so they can have um, some outdoor time too we made a little door a little contraption so we can open and close it bring them in at night to sleep bring them out in the day to walk around their little run so heading over here towards the red shed that is my shed shop where I set up our candles jams soaps all that stuff when I do open farm days so people can shop from but right next to it we have garden number two <coughs> garden number two it's just a little bit of everything um, we just have herbs some sunflowers you can see we're expanding our blueberries a little bit so those three containers over there are blueberries and three more over here there's some milkweed there's also some seminal pumpkin uh, you can see different herbs lemongrass oregano rosemary in these pots we have um, butternut squashes and then this plant over here is a seminal squash that's our first um, time trying to grow those and we also have pigeon peas growing all along this fence line and back there in front of the the blueberries so it's just a little bit of everything we also planted peppers we're going to try to plant a lot of peppers in this garden this year We'll head to the back of the farm back here we have Aspen one of our guard dogs we actually originally got two Pyrenees to protect our sheep at nighttime but unfortunately Aspen is the only one that actually does the job Nova was more interested in jumping the gate and leaving um, escaping all the time so we had to put her back here in what we call our fruit forest we started off planting fruit trees in here if I zoom in you can see some banana trees most of our orange trees died for some reason um, we have a passion fruit vine climbing up this tree there's a guava tree someone back somewhere back there there is one citrus tree well two of them that are alive back here if I zoom in far enough but for the most part our banana trees are doing really good back here we got quite a few of them the one next to the tree is getting really big and we keep Nova, the Pyrenees that does escape all the time, in here with a hot wire. So she can't get out, but she has all the space as hers and behind over here. So she has enough space to roam around. It's just when we let her out back here, she finds her way out. So we can't, we can't do that anymore. Garden number three, our largest garden so far, which we will be expanding in the future. But here we have pigeon peas. Um, we have tomato plants I just installed this cattle panel right here so that our sweet peas can climb up and on the other side of this cattle panel we planted tomato plants so this cattle panel will help everything uh, be nice and supported we have some jalapenos down here some eggplant um, carrots 
and there's some more flowers in here as well some more zinnias we got collard greens some sunflowers <clears throat> excuse me and we have naturally mulched our garden with just leaves that we found in our backyard and it has helped a lot with weeds uh, we still have some weeds but it's not as much as before and the leaves have been helping hold all the moisture into our garden we also planted watermelons and cucumbers in this garden and then back here it's just open pasture right now we planted not sure if you can see it but starting here all the way to that one uh, tea post right there it's all sunflowers and I'll get you guys closer so you can see what I'm talking about this is gonna be our sunflower field for the fall it's a pretty much an experiment right now we're not we won't know if it's gonna work out until later on but all of this is sunflowers it's just hard to see until you get really close to it so the idea for this is to have you pick sunflowers in the fall time. So we will invite visitors to come to our farm and take pictures. They can purchase sunflowers for something like a dollar each. And I don't think it's going to be thick enough to do like a maze like I wanted to do. Um, but we can revisit the idea another time once we just kind of figure out how this one works out. I wanted to do kind of a walk through maze but the sunflowers are just not growing in thick enough like that so we didn't have good germination rate with our seeds but all of this will be a sunflower field over here is where we keep our pigs so nothing has really changed here um, Pina is our pet pig, the little black one over there. The rest of them are being raised for meat. And in the near future, we will be um, trying out a different breed of pigs. So we're going to be getting rid of these last few. And the idea is to kind of do what we're doing with the meat pig, with the meat chickens, how we have the electric fence. So we want to do that and utilize our back pasture and all of this grass. Uh, eventually some flowers won't be planted here and we can rotate them on our grass using an electric fence that's meant more for the pigs not the chickens so we do have to order another one of those and that way the pigs don't have to be in this sand pit all the time we can let them out so that is going to provide healthier meat for us and just happier pigs I think not that these aren't happy but I feel like um, they would have a better life if they can be out here a little bit more freedom and be able to eat some more grass and get some more sunshine this is our male sheep our ram um, he has this whole area just for himself we used to keep him free range with the other sheep but unfortunately he got very mean he started headbutting us and sometimes we have visitors on the farm so we can't have that so he stays in here and whenever we want to breed a female sheep the female sheep will go in here with him but we don't let him out loose anymore because he's very dangerous this used to be our sheep pen but right now it's not in use I actually planted some stuff in here that I'm starting to notice pop up I planted watermelons cucumbers some corn just trying out different things because there's lots of sheep poop in here which is great fertilizer for vegetables I'm not even watering anything in here I'm just letting the rain do its job and eventually if our sheep have babies um, the mama sheep with the babies will go in here just so we can keep a closer eye on them and so that it's easier to get the sheep when we want to milk her but right now we did change stuff up since we have this sunflower field planted we can't any longer um, free range our sheep like we used to back here so I'll show you guys where they're at in the meantime so let me walk all the way back there and I'll be right back all right, to give you an idea of where we're at we just came from all the way over there where the pigs were and the, the male sheep you can kind of see our house there this is our back property fully fenced in and what we did was utilize some more cattle panels and T-posts to make a pen for our cow buddy 
and all our sheep and our lambs. We just moved this around, that's why they have grass. They were here for a couple of weeks and you can see they ate everything to the core. So we made them a new pen over here. And this is where they go at nighttime. What we're doing with them in the daytime, I mentioned in another video that we were gonna fence off back here in our wooded lot because up to this point, this is about half of our five acres. Our five acres continue on all the way to the back until we reach water and it goes past the water, but we haven't been able to go all the way back there because there is a lot of deep water. It's like a little lake back there, but we're utilizing the animals to clear this out. And if you go back to our video where we were discovering our back property, you can see all this was green and lush and thick and they have eaten it all out. Now it's nice and cleared out and brown. They still got some work to do. They got to go all the way to the back. We put the fence almost to where the water reached. We put a 330 feet fence up until we could reach. So right now it's like starts here. And we ended it here where our property line ends and we we have a door right there so every morning we let the sheep and the cow out to the back we close it up and that's all they eat out there we have water for them as well so they eat all the all the leaves all the fern anything they find back there they're munching on all day long and then in the evening we've already put them up for the night in the evening we open this door back up and they come up here and we give them some hay and obviously they eat all this grass until it's all gone and they have their little water container so that is our schedule for the cow and the sheep eventually when we have more cows i like to continue doing that but um, we're probably going to have to give this back lot a break so that it can regrow all of the things. I'm not really sure what we're doing in the long run with the back of our property. But for now, the sheep and the cow are having fun eating all of it and clearing it out for us. So we're utilizing the animals so they can help us do all that work. <laughs> they weren't very happy about it at first, but they've gotten used to the routine. So we have some lambs and our sheep. And then this chunk of our property, I also explained how our fence actually goes inwards and it's supposed to go straight, but we have water over there. We have about one acre of wetlands, so we can't do much with that. But what I like to do is fence off some of this over here and we can keep the sheep over there. The sheep can help clear all this out as well. And we could have kind of like two pens in the back, one here. Maybe we could just keep cows back there and then keep sheep on this side. I'm not really sure, but it's gonna take a lot of work before that can happen because right now it's just such untouched property that we have wildlife and bears that frequently walk through here. So that is all for our five acre farm right now. We're actually only utilizing uh, maybe three quarters of it. Like I said, we have four acres of dry land, one acre of wetland. So we can't do much with that one acre of wetland, but we're trying to check it out back there to see um, if there's a time in the year where it's a little bit less wet back there and we can keep some animals or do something with that property in the back. But for now, that's everything we have going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this little updated tour. I will have to do another one once we have the silkies out here and once we finish that bird aviary, once our sunflower field grows, um, I think that's going to be very beautiful um, once we get the new pigs and all of that set up. So I will definitely do more updated ones. Um, we're just trying to get those last few projects finished up and we'll be ready for our final farm tour. But it's not really final because things are always changing. We're always switching things up and deciding what is best for our farm and what we want to focus on. So, for now, that's what we have going on. Um, that's the animals that we're raising. That's what's going on in the gardens. I'll give you a little sneak peek of the silkies while we're up here in the patio. And then that's going to be the end of that video. I showed you guys before my son's birds. 
The idea is to build that outdoor aviary where the chicken coop used to be and get a whole bunch more birds so we can colony raise them. These are the baby silkies. As you can see, they are not old enough to go out there in that cage yet. So we're keeping them in here. Here's some more baby quails that we hatched recently. And then we also have our mealworms. We just bought a second tub so we can expand on those. But those are doing really good. We've been, um, they need more carrots. Um, we've been feeding them to the meat chickens. But we have lots of mealworms in here. And they are ready to be, um, to be split up because it's starting to get to be too much in here. So we bought a second container. This, once we clean it up, is going to be our meat processing area. We already have the deep freezer. We ordered a big chicken plucker. We still have to open up and set up. And the last thing we need is the three compartment sink, <coughs> which we're gonna put right there near my window, the kitchen window. And that's pretty much it for that. We're ready to call for our inspection so we can get that going because our meat chickens are almost ready for butchering. Um, so this is, once we clean all this back up, this is gonna be the area for that. And I'll tell you guys how that process went when we do call in for an inspection. But for now, this is what we got. I gave you a tour of our front of the property and the back and one day um, maybe not this week, but next week I'll try to do a video all the way in the back where the sheep and the cow are clearing out our back property so you guys can see all the changes back there and how it looks now that they have cleared half of it out. So I'll, I'll show you guys a little tour of that now that it's a little bit easier to walk through there and see everything because before it was just so thick. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this quick tour of our farm as it is right now and I'll see you guys in the next video.